Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are getting ready with some of my Sephora VIB sales like haul. <laughs> some of the products I got during the sales. I am showing you a bit of skincare favorites and also, well, I'm using for the first time the Huda Beauty uh, New Nude Eyeshadow Palette and I'm really excited. I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting I did Volume 4 for the first time, so we're gonna see how it works on my skin tone because I know there was a little bit of a debate about how um, it on it works on fair skin. I can't wait to show you how to create this look and tell you what are my thoughts on it, my first impressions. If you haven't already, subscribed to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. I create a lot of polls on my Insta stories to tell you, okay, do you want to see that palette or that palette or which palette do you want to see? Or I'll show you swatches but without any further ado let's get started all right my friends so it is officially winter here in Edmonton it is cold and it is dry and since I cranked up the heat in the apartment my skin is feeling tight and thirsty so it was feeling a bit dull so I used my Rodial vitamin C brightening cleansing pads it has pure vitamin C in it, 0.5% salicylic acid and 1% fruit acid. I really like these actually. It helped with my texture and my little acne scars. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using these and I have a feeling like it's, it is brightening my skin too. Then the little concoction I've been loving recently and it's not a cheap one. It is the Clarence Double Serum, the Hydrate and Lipidic System. What I do is I put two pumps, it just feels very nice on the skin, it gets absorbed very quickly. Put the rest on my neck. My hair got so long guys, all of a sudden, like remember when I cut it here? Well that was in June, look at that, it's crazy. I have an appointment in December and I'm not sure if I want to cut it again. Not sure yet. Something new that I've been using now for not too long, so I don't want to give a full review yet. It makes my skin look beautiful and it is a beautiful base for makeup. It is very hydrating, really rich. It reminds me of, although I never bought it, but I got samples, uh, deluxe samples of uh, La Mer Moisturizer. That is the Fresh Crème Ancienne Ultimate Ageless Complexion Treatment made by hand in a monastery. So that is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know for you guys, but when I have um, expensive skincare, I usually keep it in their box. So I've been using it, but I just put it back in the, the packaging all the time. I don't know. Something I do. Well, I got the 30 grams because it was already hefty price. I think it was uh, 100, $120 and I got 20% off, but still, this is how it looks like. The little jar feels nice and heavy. I take this amount and I warm it up in my hands and I pat it on my face. I don't spread it, but I pat it. The first time I used it, like, I well, like. A big scoop and uh, I, ju I just rubbed it all over my face and it, it was way too much I put way too much so it was a bit too heavy I know they have a soft version of it I saw that afterwards I don't know because so far I'm really liking how my skin looks and I got compliments so it's like oh damn I have to <laughs> do I have to spend a big box to get compliments about my skin but I did I did like I probably have like say at least nine people at work or among my friends, family, told me, oh, your skin looks really nice. <laughs> it's like, damn it. For eye cream, I have nothing new. So I'm trying to finish my uh, Drunk Love and Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. Dub, 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 dub. So I have two new foundations. I have a Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation and I have the La Mer. I did it, guys. I bought it. Like, it's been years now i wanted that foundation but i was always like ah oh, that is so expensive so expensive but well i i finally got it and it is beautiful i don't love the smell but it dissipates fairly quickly but it just looks so beautiful just know that this concoction that i do on my face with the la mer foundation it looks stunning, it looks beautiful, but I want to try that foundation just for today's video. I'll use the other one maybe in a full luxury makeup 
video or something like that give me some ideas down below you know what would you like to see full face of luxury products i don't know health drugstore health luxury makeup no idea let me know down below what you would like to see that will help me a lot thank you okay so i really like the packaging and i bought the shade 42 comes with a little pump i think it's genius it's light you can travel it's easy i think i'm just gonna apply it with my hands not used too much first yeah that is the perfect match and it has a very nice subtle scent makes me feel like summer sunscreen you know but a nice one well, we're gonna be glowy today guys because i had a very very rich base to hydrate my face so it looks uber natural but at the same time it is making my skin more even toned and slightly blurred i would say and wherever i need to conceal i'm going to i'm going to use the huda beauty and that is the over shiver concealer and i'm in the shade nuga 06 g i really like the applicator because it feels very cooling under the eyes might have a deep puffing effect who knows I heard it's very nice for contour too. Let me know down below if you bought a shade for contour and if it worked for you. Trying to sculpt a bit right there. Buff it in. Let's see how the concealer oxidizes a bit. You have to be aware of that. It just oxidizes a bit. It got a bit darker. But it's a very nice one actually. Very brightening. So I got that e.l.f. brush and it looks so nice, first of all. And it's so soft. You know what? It reminds me of a brush I always wanted to buy from La Mer. Never did, but it really feels like very similar. So if you want to save your box. Uh, I'm going to use a Wilder powder uh, from Glossier. And that's in the shade Light Medium. I'm really intrigued by the Charlotte Tilbury ones. But everybody says that it smells like fart. <laughs> so that's a little bit sad for a luxury product to smell bad but well it seems that it looks beautiful i don't know i love her flawless um finishing powder is it flawless like i think so it is beautiful powder let me know down below if you tried and what you think of it this one i like because it keeps the glow i got that um little palette here the volume four you know well it has my fingerprints all over the packaging very beautiful packaging here super nice like pink you can see everything sure you probably saw it so i hesitated for a bit uh, uh, actually a while because i heard a lot of people were complaining that it was like too light and the pan's really small but i think you get a lot of products now that i i'm getting to know like hourglass powders a bit more i know that a little goes a long way so we're gonna try that one today i got the brush ambient lighting edit brush so it's funny because it comes in that small box you don't expect the box to be so small in store like even the the associate was looking for it this one will fit perfectly into those little pans so i want to use it for the first time with you so i'm gonna use this shade first right there i'm actually gonna use the other side will fit better under my eyes so. Can you guys tell me if you see a difference? Do you see a difference? Mm, maybe. Here I got a little zit right here that I had the great idea to touch before filming, of course. So I would say it sets very nicely while I use my water powder before. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it actually doesn't emphasize my texture it doesn't look dry at all on my skin now i'm gonna use a bronzer for this i'm gonna use my sonia kashuk i got this brush in a set the wooden set very nice brushes actually i bought that when i was in denver i'm not sure we can find it in canada if you're in the states try the sonia kashuk brushes very nice brushes she has sets too so let's see that bronzer oh okay I think it has a bit of pigmentation. Let's see if we can build up. Oh, actually, I actually think it looks very pretty. 
I think it looks very nice and uh, natural. What I love with Hourglass powders, you can build up the color. Look at that. Oh, I think it looks nice. On my nose, right in the center, so we have a feeling that, oof, my nose is actually a little bit uh, more like that, you know? A little visual effect that I, I do all the time with my bronzer. So you have two blushes. You have one that is more corally and another one that is more like purpley, gold. We're gonna see, we might use both. So that's another uh, Sonia Kashuk brush and that's a blush brush that I got in another set. And some of the sets were on, on, on sale so that was a really good deal actually. I think I'm gonna go with that one first. You know what, we might use both colors. I'm gonna do the purple here, the coral here, and then I mix both. Just that way you can see the color. And that is very pretty. You know what, I don't even know if you can see on camera. Hourglass blushes are really pretty, I really enjoy it. I have moon exposure and I've been wearing it a lot. It gives that beautiful, like, natural flush. It has a slight uh, sheen in it, but nothing metallic. Very pretty. You know what? I'm gonna use a coral on the other side. That way we can see the difference. Definitely warmer. Peachy. I like both. I think they're both really pretty. Here, maybe my light is a bit too bright. There you go. Maybe you can see the difference a bit better right now. I think it looks beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna put that corally here. It might be too strong for a bit, but as you may know, blush is what fades first. And then there is a highlighter. I think, I don't know if it's the same formula as the strobe ones. I don't think it is. I think the, the one that is very blinding is in the other one. But we're gonna try. It is nice, it is subtle though. It's really natural. Overall, I think, yeah, it is an ideal uh, face palette for Beauvoir Fair to light medium skin tone. You can build up the, the pigmentation a bit, but I'm not sure for someone with a darker skin tone than me, like, it, I'm not sure it will show up. I've been using quite a bit my Benefit, uh, precisely my brow pencil in the shade 3.5. I really like that one, but I bought the Hourglass one in the shade Ash. I love their brow gel, so I thought, why not trying this one? So you have a spoolie on one side, nice and big, and then, yeah, it has that uh, triangular shape. Shape my brows with it. And I always love this kind of tip, like, first, but then it doesn't get as sharp, so that's the only downside. I'll let you know how it goes, because it doesn't look too greasy, so maybe you won't lose its shape that easily. I really like that Hourglass uh, Bro Sculpting Pencil. Very nice, and uh, the color uh, Ash was actually perfect. Perfect for me, and it was super easy to trace, no problem. Really like that. I am excited to use, for the first time, the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. You probably saw it all over the internet, so I'm not gonna blah blah too much about it. Um, but you get uh, 18 eyeshadows, 10 battery mattes, 4 multi-reflective shadows, 2 pressed glitters, one pressed pearl and one concealer base, which I think it's pretty cool um, that she included a concealer base in whoop, in her um, in her palette. So inside you get yeah you, know, you get that beautiful little slip as usual. Always beautiful photos of her for a campaign. I like the photo. I like the nude that is a little bit iridescent. You get a very nice mirror. These colors. I really don't want to destroy that palette. It is one of the prettiest eyeshadow palettes I held in my hands, I think. It's it's so cute. These ones are presented so well. It won't look like that in a bit, but just enjoy food for the eyes. I, I heard people saying, oh, it's not a nude palette, blah, blah, blah. Like, not really happy about that. 
she calls it a new nude you know it's like when people say i'm gonna do a smoky eye it's not necessarily like black anymore like it can be green it can be blue it can be um burgundy so i think it's cool like she has her own version of nude why not you know when it again it's just a name just a name so let's not like be dramatic about it so you know what i had a bit of concealer actually but i'm gonna use that shade conceal hopefully i won't get any eyeshadow pigments set onto that shade i watched like someone saying like you could place a little tape i think it's a good idea i might do that okay so that feels very nice and that is a first impression guys like it's really honestly like first time i'm touching the palette so yeah it gives like a nice light base now the question is should i set the base or let it tacky i think if you leave it tacky like it will be beautiful with both like shimmery metallic colors interesting uh texture feels nice actually all right so oh i'm excited i know i could have started with my mattes and then put that base again that concealed again maybe i should have done that anyway you know what we are going to start with uh, i don't want to destroy that palette it's so sad <laughs> with the shade bare which is the lightest shade in the palette this one i'm gonna set my brow bone and just the crease i think i'm gonna use a shade teddy well hopefully it's not a mistake i'm not setting the entire lid I think that is a very pretty color and I'm placing it in the outer corner of course it comes very pigmented and then I am blending it in the crease pretty color and that is blending perfectly no issue yeah, look how pigmented it is Ooh. that is blending really well guys because I did not set my entire lid and so far so good now i'm gonna go to the shade raw same brush and i'm using sorry i forgot to say sephora pro featherweight crease brush number 38 place it in the outer corner wow And finish in the crease. You know what? Why not? I'm just gonna place what is left on my brush in the inner third. Maybe I need more. And intensify my crease. These shadows blend so well so far. Um, I'm using their but very pale shade under my brow bone and I just blend away the raw that color now I'm taking a Sigma E45 just gonna use it off bite I'm really impressed with how well the shadows are blending together on a lid that it's not set not fully set so I'm just putting love bite in the outer corner just to give a bit more dimension and a bit in the crease I need a bit more of raw in that inner corner. You know what? I'm gonna place a bit more of that conceal shade. I'm using a concealer brush from Sigma. It's F75. Placing it in the center. And I would say that concealer is very nice. Like it, bl it blends very easily with the shadows. And now, do I want to use a glitter or do I want to use a metallic? I'm gonna use Infatuated. So I'm going to use it without a glitter base. And I'm just going to place it with my finger. That works really well, actually. Wow. Okay. Second layer. Wow. That is actually working really nicely, guys. That um, concealer base. Can you see that? Super pretty. OK, 
Okay, finger is coat coated. And then just the dressing. So that is the first coat. So it already looks pretty, but then you place a second coat and I barely have any fallout, which is super surprising. Look at that, holy crap. That is stunning. Now I feel like I don't have a full coverage face, like, for that eyeshadow look, but whatever, that's fine. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit more of the shade raw. My brush was way too big. But see, it's blending, so we're safe. That's fine. Go back to there. Sorry if you can hear that. That is my heat. Working hard to keep me warm. Wow, I am so impressed. So excited. You know what, now I want actually to put more Love Bite. Same brush, just intensify the outer corner with it. I have a feeling that video is going to be so long. I know I should have done like a dedicated video to that palette now. I'm going to take Teddy, that first shade we used, on my lower lash line. With my Sigma E45, then the shade Raw. There, now I'm taking something a bit thinner but stiff and I'm getting the shade Love Bite, that purple one. And I'm just placing it really close to my lash line in the outer part. Make the connection with the top right there. So something I noticed, the sparkles are actually, well, because I blended afterwards with my big fluffy brush, they're, they spread it a bit, but I don't mind it. I think it's very pretty. I think it's it's not gonna move more, but it's spreaded. And then for my inner corner, I mean between Fantasy or Crave, I think I'm gonna use Crave, that one. And it's so pretty. I'm so sad to ruin it, but I'm also excited. I'm gonna use my little pinky. Ooh, there's a little bit of green in it. Rose gold champagne, a bit of green. Oh, that's actually a really pretty shadow. Whew, super pretty. You know what? I'm gonna stop there, but I'm gonna definitely play more with that palette. I am impressed by the quality of the shadows, how well the mattes blend, and that sparkly eyeshadow. It was pretty cool. Uh, I love that she included that little base here. I will put the tape, like I saw in another video, just to protect the base. Well, I would say if you don't really love like pinkish undertones, berry tones, I'm not sure you would like that palette. But if you do, like neutral, nude berry tones, I think you will love that palette. All right, I just tight line and put liner in my waterline with a shallow Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in the shade Bedroom Black. I love, and I, I had that for a while now and I used it so much, but this is a great eye pencil, very black, very creamy. And talking about Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna set my brows with her legendary brows and that's the shade Supermodel. This is so little, very interesting little brush here. I like how it's really coating the hair and I feel like I need something a, a bit more brightening under the eyes so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of concealer there I feel like I put too much blush guys just to show you <laughs> now time for mascara I've been impressed with the milk so I got this as a little perks but I actually bought full size now of a milk kush mascara uh, it gives like very fluffy like long lashes and the Nars Climax mascara. Now I would say this one I love it for the upper lashes not so much for the bottom lashes. For the bottom lashes 
caution. Amazing, like it doesn't smudge, stays put all day. So recently what I've been liking is like putting this one at the bottom and then it's either the Milk or the Climax. So we're gonna use the Climax today. Curl my lashes quickly. For someone who doesn't wear lashes like me, false lashes, like this was a revelation. Okay. One coat. Look, look at that. Okay, eyes are done and I'm, oof, I'm loving it. Just gonna show you quickly. Look at that. I'm gonna use my aqua lip. I don't have a new lip pencil. That is a shade 14C. The Urban Decay Juicy Metalized. And I think now because of our eyes, it might be too much. I'm just gonna swatch it, but I think it's probably gonna be too much. So that's from like the Cherry Collection. I'm gonna keep that. Well, it ends up being a monochromatic um, look, um, but I really like it. I think it's uh, it's different. I think, well, the blush and everything, I went a bit too ham, <laughs> but uh, that will be, that would look better in an hour. And then, well, the highlighter could be a bit stronger. I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Super Glow. It's not new, but it is what I need right now. That, boom. So that is the final look, my friends. What did you get during the Sephora VIB sales? What do you think of the products I used in that video? Did you get the Huda New Nude eyeshadow palette? If yes, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Then did you get that Hourglass face palette? What do you think of it? What is your skin tone? Please, if you can comment down below, it's very useful for everybody who's reading the comments. Quite happy with everything I've tried today. The eyebrow pencil is very nice. Michelle Tilbury gives you a lot, a lot of uh, brows, so keep that in mind. Yes, I think I think that's all. What do you think of this look? Would you like me to create uh, free looks with the Huda New Nude uh, eyeshadow palette, or just using in another video? Let me know down below if there is any particular eyeshadow palettes that you would like me to use. Uh, are you curious about the sultry one? Or I don't know. Let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching. I know it's a long one and I'm, I don't know, I was a bit all over the place. I have a feeling, but yeah, this happens sometimes. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I will see you next time. Have a great one.